dedicated tractor beams. Let's check them out. Okay, so for this test, I have a regular multi-tool with a tractor beam, like this. And I got the new multi-tool, uh, the dedicated version of it, which is that thing. Okay, let's see if I can find better lighting so I can see it. As you can see, it's still not really finished. You see the animation is uh, not complete. Now, what's interesting about that is what it can do and some hints on what it's supposed to do later in the patch. Okay, so here's something it can do. You take this entire ship and move it. And I've also tested in another video with a caterpillar tractor beam, you could pick up an entire 400i and move it around. So I think there's going to be some scaling on what, which beam can do what. Okay, let's, let me check out something here. See if there's any difference in, in terms of moving that stuff. Switch to this one. Hmm, doesn't seem to be slower or faster. Because currently, the normal beam like this can take any container as in previous patches. Any container size like that. The only thing it cannot do is, is pick up a ship like that. And I think that's too powerful in the game currently because such a pocket-sized tool being able to throw on so much weight, I think, it's going to turn into a problem in this game because it, because it turns every player into a type of superhero. However, I think there's some hints that they might balance it down a bit. Okay, let me show you. They, they said something in the patch notes that they want to to rebalance it so the bigger car, the bigger beams have specific purpose and the smaller beams are more limited. Now that's a good idea. Okay, first let's, let me look at that thing. See a tractor beam, effective range 10 to 20 meters. Which appears to indicate that they eventually plan this thing to only have a 10 to 20 meter range, which I think is a good thing. Because currently it has a, meter, a range of 100 meters, like the normal beam. So it can extend something 100 meters away, then wave it around anywhere you want. And I think it's a good idea that they would limit the range, so you really have to be physically close to move things around like that. Because currently, what I like to do in Brio's Breaker Yard, I like to hover in a, in a vulture, and if I see some interesting cargo piece that somebody left behind, I just hover my ship, open the gate in the back, and just use a the tractor beam to attach the cargo from a meter and pull it into the ship. Which I think is fun at first, however it, it damages the realism of the game mode. So it's good, that I think, that they, they're scaling it down. And here's two interesting things about that thing. Notice here it says out of ammo. Which means it will have to use some ammo. And the description of it also says... All set so I can see it. So it says integrated battery. With its longer lasting battery and wider beam emitter, can easily manipulate heavy and bulky items. Which means the description hints at future balancing, which means uh, longer lasting battery, which means the normal multi tool probably will have a really limited battery. And that both of them will have batteries that you can basically um, swap in and out. However, there's currently no attachment points you can actually use. And I think it's also a good thing because. Using beams like that, it should be like a limited tool you use, and it's going to cost you something. Because currently, it costs nothing. And the thing is, any player can carry that thing around and swap the attachment out. The attachment of, of that thing is about the size of a pack of cigarettes. Okay, so let's go here. You take the true hole beam thingy out. Take this thing for inspection. See, that tiny thing, you swap it on your multi-tool, now suddenly you can carry objects around that are the size of houses almost. Uh, or a small house. And that would actually, it currently does, it currently damages also the gameplay specialization because you don't need a specialized cargo loading player with specialized equipment because if every player can carry out that, that tiny thing here, then everybody's a specialist for any type of uh, activity. However, if it's going to be more limited, and if you, for example, need to use this, this, um, oops, now it's flying away. Ah. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Grab it. I actually had this happen when I was approaching um, Security Post Korea, and I had the, the 
the hacking chip in my hand while I was EVAing towards it. I tried to put it away and it just flew away in space. Okay, let's start this one. So if they're limited and you use the, the bigger gun like that, which is obviously going to be bulkier, it's going to cost more, it's going to take batteries. See, then specialization suddenly will cost you something. So you have to maybe put that thing in your ship somewhere and only bring it out if you have to. So I think I'm, I'm pretty excited for rebalancing and, and limiting what the player can do in terms of tractor beams. Because then you get two specialization, because then the choice of gear matters and whether you can carry that gear, whether you can afford it, whether you have enough batteries for it. So I think it's going to be great if, if, they, if they balance it correctly.